Hi there and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to create stylish icons and add fun emojis to your projects in Photopea. So we're going to start off with the emojis and to get these visible you're going to need to go to the top of the screen to the window drop down and then hover over the more and then go down to emoji. And as you can see here it's added the little emoji icon onto our bar here and it's opened up the screen. And if we scroll down, you can see all the kind of emojis that you would normally expect to find. And you can go between different categories. And you can just scroll through. When you pick one that you like, all you need to do is click on it once and Photop will automatically add it into your document. Sometimes it appears very small, but it will always appear in the top left corner of your document. So let me just get that out of the way for the moment. And if you shrink and enlarge this, just mem remember to hold down the shift key and it will always constrain it to the correct proportion so you won't have any kind of squished emojis like that. And the beauty of these is they are saved as vector shape layers, which means they do not lose quality no matter how large or small you make them. So let's add another one. So we'll click onto the, now that icon will be added to your bar here so you can always get to the emojis quite quickly. So let's just go to food and drink and let's just pick this cherry icon or this cherry emoji. And as you can see, it is appeared in the document in the very top left corner. So I'm just gonna enlarge that and bring it into my document wherever I like. Rotate it a bit, I'll move it there. And that's fine. As, as you can see, it's just giving them a, a like a code for the layer name, but you can change that to whatever you want. So we can just change this to cherry. And I'll just change this to face. So that in a nutshell, that's how emojis work. That's how simple it is to add emojis to your documents. Now we can also access a library of icons that are separate to emojis. And I'll show you how to use these. So for this, we have to go to a different portion of the screen and we do need to create our own blank layer for this so I'm just going to click on the new layer icon and we're going to go to the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen and go down to this one here and it will probably be on rectangle for you and as you can see it's given us an option of rectangle ellipse line parametric shape or custom shape we want to go on custom shape so once you've clicked on that if you go to the upper toolbar on the screen and go all the way to the right you can see here it says shape and there's like a a small little preview. If you click on that, it will bring up a separate window again with dozens and dozens of very stylish, nice quality icons for you to use. Everything from social media icons, ticks, crosses, symbols, lots of useful things, arrows that you can use in your project. So let's say you wanted this thumbs up here. Now the difference between the emoji section and this section is once you've selected your icon, it doesn't automatically appear. You have to draw it out on the screen. So if you just click anywhere on the main canvas and drag, you'll see it starting to draw the icon out. And again, we'll use that trigger holding shift so that it keeps its proportion. And once you're happy with it, just let go. And it's now created that icon. And just like the emoji, it's a vector shape object, which means it can be resized and reduced as many times and by as much as you like and it will never lose quality. Now the only other option we can do with these is whilst we are in this shape mode here, if you go up to the section on the top bar that says fill and we can go in here and we can just change the color of those icons to whatever we like. 